So, two weeks ago it was announced Sir Bob Jones was suing Māori filmmaker Renee Maihi on the grounds of defamation. Maihi presented a petition to Parliament signed by more than 70,000 people asking to strip Jones of his knighthood after he penned a column for the NBR calling for Waitangi Day to be renamed Māori Gratitude Day. Then last week his lawyer sent a letter to Māori academic Dr Leonie Pihama because she tweeted a message referring to him as racist Bob Jones. The letter asked for her to immediately withdraw and apologise for the use of the label racist as it's clearly defamatory. Now, racism is such a slippery term. Like emo music in the 2000s, everyone admits it exists but then denies it when you give them an example. So how do we know if Bob Jones is racist? What I think is racist and what you think is racist might be completely different. Although if you aren't a person of colour, then a strong argument could be made for me having a much better understanding of it than you. Racism also doesn't really have a legal definition, so my point of view with my particular values and cultural background is as valid as yours on this subject. It's a level playing field, which the law isn't. So I've done some reading, 45 odd years worth of columns and books written by Robert Jones. He's no Margaret Atwood, hell, he's no Lloyd Jones, but these are some of the highlights, lowlights. You need a cabinet minister who would tell the Maoris that you're all a pack of lazy bastards. And how about this? The uttering of unadulterated world-class nonsense this event spawned, mainly and predictably by Maori exponents whose capacity to spout garbage is familiar to us all. And how about this? Despite the euphemistic deceit about resources in the Crown, what these parasites seek is for hard-struggling Kiwi workers to give them money without them having to work for it. And how about this on Te Reo Māori? Māori are a disproportionate drain on expenditures. Furthermore, they'll continue to be so long as misplaced propaganda about their former culture is pursued. And this! This pretense that there is a peculiar Maori view on sewage science and everything else is childish and simply presents opportunities to exploitative wide boys. Well, my very favourite, an objective outsider assessing the state of affairs in this country would be excused for quickly concluding that Maoris are genetically an inferior race. Full quotes and their sources can be found at thespinoff.co.nz. Is he racist? Based on that, a lot of people might still say no. My honest-to-goodness, honestly-held, honest opinion, based on those examples, is... Yes! He's racist as! And you know what? He's also a massive... <laughs>